I always tell people that the important thing is to have the competence to deliver the results. In other words, if you're the first woman and the first African and you can't deliver, uh, uh, that, doesn't, that doesn't help. So I'm focusing on delivery, I'm focusing on getting results, and I want to make sure that people remember my continent producing the first leader of the WTO that made a difference. Spend more time with friends that encourage you. Because as you grow, some of your friends uh, may not be growing with you, but spend more time with business associates that encourage you. It's very important. Never underestimate your competitors. Keep being the benchmark they're trying to beat. It means you must keep innovating, you must keep being creative. Share your recipe of success with others. Because your DNA is not my DNA. My journey isn't your journey. Our journeys differ. But there may be certain things that I can learn from you and certain things that you can learn from me. That we can both together be the best that we can be. Never be too proud to say sorry. I've learned, it took me a long time to learn that. Especially with those that I work with. You know, I mean at times I'll go off on a screening match and I'll pick up the phone and say, I'm sorry I screamed, I'm sorry that I was just having a bad day. Whatever it may be. But I think it's important to learn that we are human, we're going to make mistakes. And let's admit those mistakes um, and stay humble, as humble as we can. getting drafted to the WNBA eventually, but then I came back here and I found so many young girls that loved basketball as much as I loved it. And I was like, you know what, I have to do more. Yeah. They need to see, they, they can't feel like they're invisible or in a vacuum. They need to know that we see them and that they should keep pursuing their passions, largely because Africa is still a very patriarchal place. Yeah. We look down upon women or young girls that want to do other things. Mm -hmm. And so my, my alternate mission, besides coming back and seeing family and yeah. friends, is to try to empower young girls through education and more importantly through basketball. to you have the courage of conviction. In life, we all have different things that we believe in, but our ability to have the courage to fight for the things that we believe in, in a way that no matter what is changing around us, we can stand and keep standing, is what is key. In the world that we live today, there's so much confusion as to who we should be, as to what we should believe, as to what we can defend. We're all struggling with whether to follow the crowd, to be part of the crowd, or to have the audacity to stand for what we believe. As a young woman of 25, when I was starting my first business, I made up my mind that two things were going to be critical to me. I was never going to pay a bribe in order to succeed in my business, nor was I ever going to sleep with a man in order to take an opportunity. Everyone thought I was an idealistic young woman that wasn't going to go too far holding on to those principles. Well, it's 30 years after. I built a successful manufacturing group. On top of that, my country got to a point where Corporate governance became a major part of the business landscape and it became important to find people who had not only good technical track record, but people of integrity, of character and people that could be trusted. Over the period when I'd been building my business, I had built a reputation for those things. I did them for myself because it was based on what I believe and on my faith as a Christian. And as it got to a point where they became the real tools that everyone was coming for, I got more phone calls and invitation to join boards of, from multinationals to major corporates than I knew what to do with them. My name is Chima Amanda. In Igbo, it means my personal spirit will never be broken. Before I tell you about not lying, I must first admit
So before I tell you about not lying, I must first admit to lying. I routinely lie about my height, even at the doctor's office. In Lagos, when I'm meeting friends for lunch, I lie about being stuck in traffic when I'm really still at home, only just getting dressed. Now, there are other lies. Sadly, however, I cannot tell you about them without having to kill you afterwards. But what I know is that I have always felt my best and done my best when I veer toward truth, when I don't lie. And the biggest regrets of my life are of those times when I did not have the courage to embrace the truth. Now, telling the truth does not mean that everything will work out. Actually, it sometimes doesn't. I'm not asking you to tell the truth because it will always work out, but because you will sleep well at night. And there is nothing more beautiful than to wake up every day holding in your hand the full measure of your integrity. <laughs>